Hello everyone, welcome to my weird and wonderful world. In today's video, I'm going to ramble a little bit about this and that. I don't usually do that. It's just because I'm pretty excited that I finally hit 110. Like I just hit 100 subscribers like like less than less than 48 hours ago. And I'm, I'm, I think it's from here on it's going to start snowballing and I'm super stoked about that. So yeah, this is a little bit of a, a ramble. I'm going to try not to rant. I might have a tiny bit of a rant at the end of the video about something, but you'll understand why when you hear it, when you hear it, it's nothing terrible. It's just a little, it's just a little opinion that I have about something and you'll see what I'm talking about. But because I hit 110, even, well, I, I, I said I was going to do this when I hit 100 subscribers. And so this Friday coming up, I am going to go live. At Friday, December the 1st, I'm going to go live at 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Central Mountain, and at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. I didn't have enough room for that, but you get the idea. And for all those across the ponds, you can you can use this as your gauge and, and convert it to your time in where you're living so you can check check me out. And it's me. It'll be my first time going live. I I've been live with Larry Graves, which I want to bring up right now, and being on his pod, uh, being on his uh, live uh, stream last time was so fun and so enjoyable that yeah, I, I'm I I really want to go live now. W about twenty minutes ago, just kind of before doing this video here. I watched his last video where he did a little bit of a rant called For the Love of God, a rant by Canadian Stud Muffin. I do agree with 9 out of his 10 points. I 100% I agree with all of it. And one of my little rants at the end will be is, is, is touching upon one of his little rants. Which, of course, you know, the only thing I kind of disagree a bit with Larry Gray's is the uh, bonus stuff at the end of the CDs? Now, when a when a when a when a record company, a studio, you know, re-releases re an album by an artist or a band, they like to sometimes put bonus tracks at the end of the CD. And Larry was saying that he don't he doesn't like that when they do that. He would rather them make a second disc and and put all the bonus tracks on there. I completely understand. I do feel you, Larry, but it doesn't bother me at all having some uh, some bonus stuff at the end. Like for the Sparks, for because I, I have some bonus stuff from Sparks on uh, on uh, Kimono My House and Propaganda, and I love that it's right there. I mean. Would would they really make a second CD just to put two or three little songs on the end of it? They could, they could, but I don't think it's really that necessary. I think it's, I I I I I I love it being where it is. I have some Ozzy Osbournes that has some bonus tracks at the end, and it kind of fills out the album a little bit. It's 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 more. I'm always a fan of getting more of something. Like, why have just an album of the of the stuff that I remember, which is awesome. And if I don't want to hear those bonus tracks, I can always stop it at the end of that uh, uh, of the last song on the album. But I always like to let it play through because it's it's fun having that extra stuff there. It really doesn't bother me. So that's one point I kind of disagree with you, Larry. But I loved your video. It was awesome. Now, a point that I really agree with Larry Graves and something I want to bring up, one of his little rants that I think is important, is why is it so difficult for people to uh, to hit the thumbs up on, on, on a video? Uh, why, are so, why are too many people who watch our videos passive observers? They just sit back and watch it and they don't interact you're doing us such a big favor by hitting the thumbs up it is it's, it's it only takes a second a second to do just whoop, whoop, there i just gave a thumbs up 
why is that so difficult it helps us out immensely it helps our channels grow which is which is what we need and now from my point of view and I tell you I have never once given anybody a thumbs down and it's very extremely rare that I don't give a thumbs up like I give thumbs up at least 98 to 99 percent of the time it's really if I don't like a video and it's it's rare for me not to like a video I always love everything I watch like if I'm watching it in the first place it's because I'm interested in the subject and like to like to watch it so yes I'm always always going to give a thumbs up I give a thumbs up to everybody so and it boggles my mind where I see that they, somebody has like a, let's, let's say, a thousand views on their video, but they only got a, a hundred and something thumbs up. It, I, don't, I, under, I don't understand that. It, because it's so easy to thumbs up a video. Yeah, I, I think that's bonkers that people just don't give thumbs up. And even, like, I don't, I, and, and those thumbs down, like, like I have I've gotten some thumbs down on a few of my videos and it perplexes me it, like it makes me scratch my head it's like what did you not like about the video that you have to be a troll and give it a thumbs down down I think YouTube should just eliminate the thumbs down button altogether I think that they should only have a thumbs up that, and 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 if people give a thumbs up it it means they like it if they don't give a thumbs up then they then that means they don't like it i think it would be i i think it would force people to give it more of a thumbs up if they didn't have that thumbs down to to back up on so that's just but that's just my opinion that's just how i see, see it if you disagree with that that's fine too now i want to ask larry graves something now, because I know he's such a huge Beatles fan, and he like like he raves about it all the time, which is getting me it is it encourages me to look more into the Beatles, and I'm sorely sorely lacking in the Beatles albums, and I I'm going to be getting more of their studio albums, and I'm I'm so looking forward to getting those and and checking them out. And I'm, I'm very seriously considering, not right now, but sometimes maybe in the next few months or so when I can truly afford it, I, I do want to get the reissues of the, of the, the new uh, Blue and Red albums, especially with the new song Now and Then, which I, which I think is fantastic. I love the video and everything, and, and I, 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 I do want to, because I love listening stuff into stuff stereo in, in stereo play and I just kind of want to quickly add that I just listened to uh, the, the that the damned album called the black album that Larry was promoting on his channel and yeah it's probably it, it, for kind of a punkish type of band I thoroughly enjoyed it what I love most about it is how much of a how much stereo play there is how much they got stuff going here and then going here and a little bit in the middle here but things are going back and forth and up and i thought that was just that's what makes an album super interesting and that's why i'm kind of i'm really am looking forward to the beatles red and blue album the new ones there because of the stereo play i'm a huge fan of of great stereo play when 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 bands put out music and I wish more bands would be more dynamic in their stereo play I really love that that damned album that that I that I listened to last night so check it out please now but the question coming back to the question I wanted to ask Larry Graves for being a big Beatle fan is what do you think of this I want to know what you really thought of this. I love this movie. I find it so endearing and so heartfelt. It, it's it's I I don't want even I don't even want to call it a a guilty pleasure because because I don't feel guilty when I listen to it uh, when I watch this. I think it's awesome. 
But I really want to hear Larry Graves' opinion on this, what he thinks, or even Glenn Calloway. If you're watching this video too, I, I really want to hear what you think of this. What do you guys rate this video, this DVD, this movie? Because I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious because I give it a 10 out of 10. I, I, and, and yeah, it's, it, it's a special movie. It's, of course, you know, where everyone in the world has forgotten the Beatles except Jack. Everyone except Jack. And, yes. So, that's what I wanted to find out. I want to know that. So, I'm just, before I ramble on a little bit too much, because I don't want to make this too much of a longer video. So, I am going to make another video later not too long after this video where I'm going to do my tool talk. I'm going to talk about tool for a bit. I might make it a little bit of a longer video than usual, but it's because I'm so passionate about it. And I'm going to be rambling. I'm going to probably call the video my ramble. I'm rambling about tool again or something to that effect. So, also, I want to say to everybody out there who has, who has put me at 110 subscribers, thank you, thank you dearly. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you all. I and and all those who watch my videos, who hasn't subscribed yet, I'm looking forward to when you do. Now, I'm not going to be making uh, too many. Uh, my, usually, okay, before I got to 100, all my milestones were every every 10. When I hit 70, 80, 90, I made a, a special little video about that. From here on in, I'm going to only make my uh, my next special episode, of, uh, my, my next milestone to be 150, and then 200, and then 250, or something like to that effect instead of every tens because i think from here on in i'm probably going to be snowballing with the subs subscriptions and that so again i appreciate each and every one of you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart awesome and so and as always the same closer because i it's always heartfelt i always mean what i say Please be safe. Take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please, everyone, have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everyone.